Our diagnosis today is external resorption of the lower left lateral and cuspid. Our treatment plan is immediate implants and provisionals. I tried to loosen the teeth with separators. That didn't help very much. Here we're removing the associated soft tissue, the resorption. I've sectioned the roots and I'm using the Schumacher Proximator to luxate the roots. Removing the roots with an A Titan angled forcep. Preparing the site for an implant direct Legacy 3. This particular implant is 3.2 body, 3.0 platform. Bone grafting with a keystone, demineralized gel mixed with LifeNet mineralized cortical bone. Our provisional, we're fitting that with our provisional template creating a hole for an index pin, placing some bond agents, some prelude. This is Danville Materials Turbo Temp. And we're filling in our provisional with Danville Materials Starflow. Trimming to make our tooth with a Comet ceramic burr. And we're maintaining our socket space with cotton and that's saturated with some hemodent. Placing our second implant, which is an implant direct Legacy 2. Grafting the residual space. Setting up our, for our second provisional, we've coated the first provisional with Vaseline, filled the access hole with barricade, and we're making our second provisional. Filling the access, we fill that to about a millimeter, millimeter and a half, adjusting out of occlusion, out of disclusion, and I put a blue composite indicator so it made it easier to, it'll make it easier to orient the cuspid. That's from the Aiken Harmony Abutment Method. And this is at two weeks healing. This is our radiograph and we'll be referring the patient for the final restorations at three months post-surgery.